Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 493. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and it's been a while. And we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is My Little Pony, Tell Your Tale, 30 second clip releasing during Hasbro 2022 Innovation Showcase. Alright, uh, My Little Pony, Tell Your Tale uh, is apparently less than two weeks away and Hasbro apparently ran a presentation at Innovation Showcase 2022 that had a 30-second clip of it. Right now, people have uploaded it over on BitChute, Bitch, okay, whatever, uh, along with the full presentation. Uh, this also reveals a new the new voice we can expect to see, and most of the characters have a line. They sound pretty close. I'm actually impressed. YouTube uh, embed edit get below. YouTube was <laughs> okay. Whatever. So I checked out the clip, and uh, it was not bad. Um, it's basically what this is <coughs> is just an ad to tell the folks at home that yo, um, My Little Pony Tell Your Tale is going to be on YouTube on, um, I forgot the date and whatnot, but uh, they're just saying that it's almost out and be ready for it. Um, besides that, um, what else? Uh, like Seth mentioned, we got to hear all of the voices and yeah, um, what he mentioned was true. Uh, all of the voice actors um, hit it close. It 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 was really really close. Like if you weren't paying attention or whatever it is, you could have been confused by their um, original voice actress and uh, actor and actress. So yeah, um, that's cool, and I can't wait to see how Tell Your Tale is. So let's move on to the next topic, and next topic is, ooh, this is a fun one. Uh, United Arab Emirates, McDonald's, toy includes pony potato head crossover this month. According to their Facebook, this promo has been going on all month. The UAE version of McDonald's is rocking potato head ponies. Uh, this time around, including Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, and Fluttershy, means and bodies to deck your potatoes in. We don't often see AJ at the front line. Uh, for front rest. We have heard rumblings. Uh, we haven't heard any rumblings on this heading out into the wider world, but we're keeping you post it if it does. Okay, cool. Uh, same here on my end too. Alright, um... Alright, alright, uh, let's see. We have... According to the picture, we have Optimus Prime, Fluttershy, Bumblebee, Megatron, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Grimlock, and also Pinkie Pie. So, uh, it's split from boy to girl, so that's pretty cool. Um, and as per usual, you can get a book instead of a toy, you nerd. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, this is cool, this is cool. Um, uh, Mr. Potato Head is one of those toys that I can never get into. I, I, I guess I just don't understand the reason, concept, or whatever it is. But uh, take a look, see at what we got here, it's pretty cool. Um, we can mix and match the ponies and so on, uh, or even the Autobot, so we can just put Fluttershy's main on Optimus Prime's body, <laughs> and um, you, you can get a mixture of whatever it is that you enjoy, or maybe uh, Bumblebee's helmet on top of Rainbow Dash's body and so on. Uh, this is a pretty cool crossover, and it's nice to see that Hasbro has, is still working with McDonald's on this, and yeah, this is not the first time they've been doing a this crossover for a while now. So yeah, uh, that's awesome. <clears throat> Last news for the week is more information on 
the Quantum Story uh, XR My Little Pony G5 kit arrive. Okay, wow, I remember this one. Alright, let's see. Um, way back in December, we posted about a company called Quantum Stories that was taking the My Little Pony G5 story and converting it into an XR style storybook. Today they release a new press re release detailing a bit more about the virtual uh, features of what we can expect out of it. We already knew it was a hybrid of augmented reality, virtual reality and uh, regular reading but they go into detail on how the how the actual process works. It sounds like the focus will be on achieving points that unlock things from previous chapters that let you zoom back and check things out, promoting repeat uh, promoting repeat uh, reads. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm popping. Okay. Oh wow, this is so long. Uh, okay, let, let's try. Quantum Story create uh, Quantum Story is creator of the world's first mass market extended reality storytelling platform announced a multiple uh, a, a multiple year collaboration with Hasbro to bring immersive storytelling and exper exper experimental entertainment to children, fans, and families. Quantum Story is excited to team up with Hasbro and add an entirely new dimension of interaction with uh, that will inspire around you know, I'm, I'm afraid, that will inspire young fans seeking a deeper connection with their favorite characters. Uh, stated Quantum Story CEO and founder JM Hen Hennies Hennies think. And to kick off this collaboration, we are introducing the world's first quantum movie novel, My Little Pony Virtual, uh, virtual Magic, based on uh, Hasbro's major hit film, My Little Pony, A New Generation. <coughs> quantum Stories uh, Pro... Pro... Mm, uh, what was this? Proprietary XR platform. Uh, revolutionize reading through a multi multi sensory self place and engaged framework meeting uh, the needs of the new generation. This immersive approach to their okay mm ah oh, man I'm just gonna skip a lot of this. So from what I can understand and the basic idea is is to combine or is to move the idea of reading into the new generation. <laughs> uh, it, I know I know it sounds strange and stupid when I say it, but the idea is really cool. Um, what they are trying to do is they are including uh, augmented reality uh, virtu and virtual reality into, well, reading. Um, what I'm guessing is, uh, and since this is the novelization of the book. Uh, you read through the book, you use your goggles to take a look see at whatever is presented on the book and maybe you can have um, what you call this easy or sunny pop out from the book to see oh this is sunny this is how she looks blah 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 and um, in a later part of the book when you're in jail you're kind of in a spa so you'll be virtually transported there with the VR goggles and so on. I do like the concept. The concept is very interesting. Uh, put on some VR goggles and honestly speaking, the better ones like the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive and so on, even the PlayStation uh, VR goggles, uh, do the do the job, but they're stupid expensive. For this one, I'm not 100 sure how great they are, but it does the job. But anywho, um, with Quantum Stories, 
they this is a very interesting thing. Um, I'm thinking beyond ponies right now because just imagine um Harry Potter for example. Uh, I know it's not that they, their IP is a bit tarnished now, but just imagine that for a bit. Reading through uh, things popping out of a book and so on, and maybe you're experiencing it in first person and so on. I mean, that could be really cool. Or maybe not even Harry Potter. Maybe, maybe uh, let's go for uh, a, a good classic. Maybe um, Ready Player One where you're transported into the digital world and so on and it kind of works. It kind of works in a sense where you are transported into virtually a virtual world since that's um, the whole gimmick of Ready Player One. And yeah, the, I, the, the potential and idea for uh, Quantum Stories um, product here is through the roof. It's just that how are they going to carry on forward? And since this is just what we call this a book, you, if you got essentially if you already got the kit, you don't really need to buy it all over again. And I'm just guessing that the device or the goggles are just goggles, and you need to use your phone for the app and so on. I'm just guessing that's how it works. But um, let's say it's, let's just say it's that. So you have you use your phone. Your phone is pretty powerful. Um, you could you probably you use a Samsung Galaxy something or a iPhone whatever it is. So uh, the power is there and so on. And like I mentioned before the potential of this product can be really great. Let's just say that Hasbro works with Quantum Stories for another show. Uh, maybe something for the boys. Maybe something that's more adventurous. Transformers or G.I. Joe. And that can work. That can work in terms of how they want to portray stuff. But um, maybe they, they wanted to go something else. Um, Dungeons and Dragons said that uh, they're doing something. Magic the Gathering also, one of those things. So, the potential for Quantum Stories to do a lot of things are there, but... What, the announcement came out in December, and it's coming about... Uh, it's, it's coming out soonish, and also, the time... Let's just say that it takes a lot of time for them to do this, and the need side of me says that I want this to be very perfect I don't care take your goddamn time just make it perfect but that's not how real work uh, real world works yeah like I said uh, this has a lot of potential this this is really cool um, okay cool they, they have been around they have been around they do stuff and with that, that's the news for this week. I know um, I've missed about two weeks of podcasting and it's been really crappy. Um, not, not much news came out and so on. So I haven't been doing much. And anyway, let's move on to the next topic. What have I been doing in my week? So, uh, Personally, I'm not feeling that great. I, I, I'm having a headache and so on. And I'm really trying to get over it and whatnot. But it's a bit hard. Maybe I need to take a shower or so on. I don't know. I don't care. But let's get back to what I've been doing. Um, It's a, going to be a bit of a repeat, but um, I've been playing Magic Gathering at my local game store. Um, there's a league going on and that's been fun. Um, been helping the TO with a bit of stuff. Not, nothing much, just um, listing down stuff, um, looking at brackets and so on. And yeah, um, it was, it's just the normal um, 
not really um, full on blah 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 but it was really fun to do that uh, on the Saturday I played a bit of D&D and the story for that is really going it's really exciting and fun if you would like to hear the story you can go to my personal YouTube where I upload the adventure and you can get to uh, see or whatever it is that we're doing it's a lot of fun there so other than that um let's see other than doing all that yeah um some of you might know that uh, I'm fasting for the month of Ramadan and I've I've been doing this for a while. Like, if you recognize me, um, I've been doing this, blah, blah, blah. So, it's nothing new. So, the energy level for me is going to be at a mid. So, eh, forgive me for that. But one one thing that I have failed in reporting is that the MBS show uh, is... Give me a second. I... Me with brain power, me no great, uh, boy. Yeah, um, the MBS show is 10 years now. It's been going on for 10 years running, so we hit a decade. Yay! Um, I'm surprised. Um, honestly, I am surprised that we have lasted this long. I, I guess it's a bit of a... How do I put this? It's a bit too late for me to talk about all the things that happened. So I, I, I guess I can just chat, chat a bit. Yeah, I guess. So, the MBS show started... or oh, had its first episode uploaded on... Or recorded, I think recorded on February 25th. 2012 yes 2012 where me and a me and a friend were talking about ponies and so on and it's kind of fun it's really great and yeah it's it's huh. it's it, it was it was very casual it was very um um casual yeah it was very casual Kind of was, the, the structure was kind of freeform, and then later on it was more structured into uh, following the patterns and rules and so on. It was a bit rigid, and as time goes on, um, you notice that it became more looser and looser until uh, I think what the end of last year, where I mentioned that I won't be posting, I, I won't be forcing myself to do a show every week if there's no news to cover. So. That's why you get one week gaps or two weeks gaps in content because there's nothing to report on. Um, there's no news on EQD that for, that I find interesting that I want to report on. So, um, give myself a break and just let things flow naturally. So, throughout the years of doing this, I I'm amazed at how resilient I am and dedicated I am in doing this. Um, I'm, I I just keep posting and I just keep recording. I just do this. And the reason is I enjoy recording. I enjoy doing this. This Doing this feels really great, um, really awesome. I, I get to talk to you, you, the audience at home, about the things that I like. And complain about the things that I like. Um, I, I I just enjoy it, man. I, I just enjoy it. Like doing this for oh for ten years now. Goodness me. Um there's no fanfare, there's no special guest or there's no nothing. I mean that's how different the show is from now compared to whenever it first began. And now honestly I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy reading the comments. I enjoy replying to them. 
<sighs> man, like, I, I really appreciate you guys watching this. I really appreciate you guys just being there for me. To all the guests that came on, and to all the emails that came in, thank you so much. And to all the supporters, which I will read out later on. But um, in the end, um, thank you so much, guys, for supporting the show. Um, you guys are you, you guys are the motivators. Um, just watching this, just being there and stuff, like wow, ten years. I honestly don't know what to say. It's very surprising. 2012, I'm trying to remember. I, I, I'll go personal a bit. I, I'll go personal a bit because um, usually this kind of stories, I will I like to talk about it on the Patreon exclusive. If you would like to hear more, um, to subscribe. But um, this one is for you guys. Um, 2010 was not a great year for me. Uh, it, it's, it's, it was a, not a great year because I recently broke up with my long time girlfriend slash fiance and I was in a rut, sorry. Um, I was in a slump where I was not feeling great, not feeling happy and so on. But um, that was the year where I built a strong friendship with a friend of mine. We started playing Card Fight Vanguard and got to know some of the people that market the game and so on like we we met one of the people who was in charge of Bushiro at the time and that was fun that was fun that was a lot of fun and then it's not that bad but still card game can only carry you on for so long because how do I put this card game is a fandom where you need to be up to date with a lot of things and it needs money yeah so as times go on <clears throat> i notice a lot of things on the interwebs uh, especially about ponies and when that came about i'm i'm wondering like what is this what why like why are people talking about this and mind you uh only came about on October of 2000, uh, October 10 of 2010. So I, curiously enough, hop onto YouTube, take a look, see, slowly watching the show from YouTube, not really caring that much, not really investing much time. Uh, and I was kind of like, oh, okay, this is not bad, this is not bad. And I remember. The episode where the CMCs wanted to discover the cutie marks and wanted to perform and they got on stage, they looked like Kiss and they sung terribly but that didn't really stop them. They, they, it made them well, eager to find their cutie mark even more and from that point on I kept watching and watching and watching until there was nothing more to watch. And then that's where I discover um watching TV live from the US. <laughs> um so I watched I I think I remember watching the season finale or, or two of the last episodes, something like that. Live and just experiencing like oh my goodness, this is fun, like oh wow <laughs> uh mind you show show was appearing on 10 a.m. Eastern or 11 and I'm watching it here in the PMs and oh my goodness this this was crazy 
So watching it and enjoying it and just kind of being into it slowly, not really doing much. And after a few months later, I, I, I think what season two came out, um, I kept watching and after watching Lesson Zero, that is where I felt that I need to contribute back to the community. Like, I need to do something. I can do art, I can do songs, I can do writing. So what can I do? This. <laughs> so I, I just did this. Um, interview local artists and so on. Um, report on news and this and that and expand to uh, the Outer Pony universe and my goodness after all these 10 years I would have never imagined doing this consist consistently I would never have imagined that me being on here doing a podcast every week every weekend spending time in front of the microphone talking to you guys at home talking to the guests just I, I man this is heavy <laughs> um, I would have never imagined that I'll be doing this and enjoying it a lot and you know honestly if my ex X didn't dump me. I don't think I would have be. I I would be doing this, and I don't think my life would be as happy as it is now. Honestly, you can be a. Everything can be a bit better. The like they say, the grass is always green on the other side. So on, blah blah blah. But honestly speaking, I like where I am now. The things that I enjoy, the things that I know. And this, I, I just enjoy it a lot. And getting to know you guys at home um, who comment and talk to me, comment on the show and so on, like, uh, uh, I, I, <laughs> how do I put this? I appreciate it a lot and I, I, I look forward to reading what you have to say. Oh boy. So, long story short, show started out because I got dumped and I enjoy pony, so I wanted to contribute back. <laughs> uh, that's the long and short of it. So, where, and usually with this kind of thing is, where do you see yourself in another 10 years or 5 years or so on? Honestly speaking, I don't know idea. I'm just doing this because I love the show. I just love doing it. So there's nothing more to it than that. I appreciate the people who support the channel. So that's great. We'll give we'll be giving them a shout out when I close out. But overall, I. I think I'm just gonna do this like I'm just gonna do this until I don't and one of the few things that I noticed that I don't like to quit I don't like to stop it's the the comments the views the likes those are motivators Th those are the things that make me want to keep on going, keep on producing, keep on creating, or just keep on using. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you so much guys for all the awesome times that we shared. But anywho, let's, let's wrap it up, let's wrap it up, it's almost half an hour, god dang it. Uh, Celestia. <clears throat> so anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com uh, You can also reach us on the Twitter social Twitter account is at the BS Show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo uh, And also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also Stitch Radio 
and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PandoraLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Um, please also please do subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitch Radio for the review and discussion podcast. Over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and specials. And sometimes we like to do other things than ponies, and those can be anime, cartoon, mangas, comics, and video games and movies. We love we love doing those kind of things. It it makes us look normal, or at least we do stuff. <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I'm reading this on the Relationship Manager on Patreon. Uh, if your name does not pop up now, um, sorry, it's just it hasn't been updated, so be forewarned. So anyway, um, i like to thank Lucky Knight. Must have lag and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all the support, guys. You, you, you have just, you're just great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya.